Hey guys, what's up? My name is Nikki Foster and on this channel I post budget friendly and inspiring ideas. Today we are in my kitchen because I am going to be starting with a pantry makeover. You are watching DIY by Nikki Foster. So this is my pantry. It is probably the smallest pantry ever. So I'm going to be reorganizing this, making it over, making it look really good. And I'm really excited to get started. So um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like this video um, because it's going to be really good. The first thing I do is take out all the food from the pantry. I'm actually just setting it on my dining room table so that I can go through it later. So step one is done. Now I'm gonna clean this out. I grabbed a broom and quickly swept the inside of the pantry. And this is just a quick look at the pantry completely cleared out. And then for step two, I just removed the wire racks. So I am back ready to paint. I'm gonna be um, using a sprayer. And I talked about this Wagner Flexio 4000 sprayer a couple of times in a few different videos, but I never showed you guys how I actually like fill it up. Um, usually I use the detail nozzle one and that's normally because I'm either doing like furniture or like cabinets or something like that. But today, since I'm doing walls, I'm actually going to be using like the bigger cup. So, um, I wanted to just show you guys how I do it. So I'm just using some paint. The color is called Polar Bear. It's actually the same color that I painted my kitchen. Um, I also painted it in my bedroom and I painted my bathroom Polar Bear as well. Um, oh, I also painted my son's big boy bedroom makeover with the Polar Bear color as well. I really like this color. It looks good in every house. I think I said that quite a few times, but I just wanted to like reiterate that in case you guys are looking for like a white paint on the cooler tone that's not extremely stark. Um, this one's a good one to choose. I want to show you guys how to use the Wagner Flexio 4000. Um, so I'm actually just going to be putting a little bit of paint into this cup here. I hope you guys can see that. And I think that should be good. This is something that I highly recommend with the sprayer. You have to like dilute it a little bit in order for it to like go smoothly through the nozzle. You don't want it to get like clogged. And that was like part of that learning curve that I learned when I first was using it. But since I'm using it now, I want to show you guys and tell you guys how to do it. So I'm actually going to use like one fourth cup. I just put a little bit of water in it just to thin it out, just a smidge. <clears throat> now, if you want, you can take a stirrer and stir it up. Um, okay, and then now I'm just going to put this on. So this is the handle. You just put the handle on. It locks, like it basically like locks in place. That's basically it. That's how you hook it up. It's so easy to use. Then I quickly painted inside of the pantry. Because this was a small space, this sprayer made it way easy to get everything covered. I really couldn't fit into the pantry with the sprayer, so I did grab a ladder to reach high up inside the cabinet. And also I wanted to add that the total time it took to paint this pantry with the sprayer was probably about five to seven minutes. I'm gonna let that dry. I think that looks really good. Uh, I love how it's like super crisp now versus how it looked with the beige paint. So it's funny when you add like a fresh coat of paint to something, it really like brightens up the place. But this is basically how it's looking on the table. Um, that's all laid out on the table. And then here are some other items. That's canned goods and some other like, canned goods here too. So I'm just gonna go through this and then see what happens. I went through the food on the table and sorted everything out with like items. I also used this as an opportunity to toss anything out that we weren't going to eat or anything that may have expired. This was a really important step so I could know how many containers I would need for the dried goods. Okay, so I organized all the food. Um, I didn't really actually have to throw out that much. Um, so we actually do pretty good here. I'm kind of proud of us. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just like leave it here. I'm gonna get the containers that I need that I'm gonna be organizing all the food in. And then I think I'm gonna like figure out which food um, goes into what I think it might be better to do it that way to see what other containers I might need and how I want to organize it on the shelves because I think that might be a little bit easier and um 
I just want to make sure how I organize it makes sense. So like sugar and oatmeal and brown sugar, I feel like all that should go on like one shelf and like pasta and stuff like that should go on like another one. But since my pantry is so small, I want to make sure I'm organizing it that way. You know what I mean? I hope you know what I mean. You guys know what I mean. So I got this container set from Amazon. It's a 24 pack. So it comes with like really long containers. That's good for like spaghetti. So it comes with some smaller ones. After I washed the containers out, I filled them up with dry goods so everything could be more compact in the pantry. Okay, so I'm still in front of the pantry. This is about to be the best pantry makeover ever because it is super simple super easy it only takes like maybe an hour to do everything um but this is perfect for people who are renting this is perfect for people who might be a little bit more afraid of using major power tools so this is for you um i did a poll on my community um tab in youtube and you guys answered those questions whether you are a renter whether you are a homeowner or whether you're living with someone else and you guys answered um, most people are homeowners but also there were quite a few renters out there and i still had people commenting on some of my other videos like hey do you have any renter friendly ideas so i am trying to cater to you guys as well so this is for you i'm hoping you guys love this so uh let's get started the first thing i did was measure the depth of the shelf the width and then also the lip part of the shelf once i have my measurements i marked the areas with the a pencil on the foam core board then I cut it out making sure to keep the extra lip area on the board attached so the first part is easy you just measure your shelf um, and then now the second part you score your you score your line for the lip of the shelf but don't cut don't cut the foam core all the way through just like lightly scrape the surface so that you can do this so when you cut it it should be able to bend it's not two separate pieces it acts as a lip for the shelf okay and then the third part is the contact paper this is a wood look contact paper i am going to have the link for this in my description box so you guys can check out the description box if you want to do the same project um this also has like lines grid lines in the back so that you can um measure how much you need um and you can cut it with scissors so i'm just going to measure mine here and don't be afraid to like measure a little extra just in case like as far as the length so i'm just going to follow the grid line all the way up I noticed that it was a little easier to start with the contact paper on the side of the foam core then I just smoothed it out across the surface from there. For the lip part I peeled back the contact paper just a little then folded the foam core on the crease so that it would bend naturally and then smooth the contact paper again. And if you mess up all you have to do is just lift up the contact paper slowly and then smooth it back down. Look at how cool it looks like a like a wood shelf. Now I just add the wire shelves back into the pantry, then the faux wood shelf on top, repeating each row until each of the shelves are back in. Look at the faux wood pantry shelves. These look really good. I'm going to fill the pantry up now. I bought an adjustable tier step shelf for canned goods and wanted to show you up close what it looked like. There is a link to this in my description box. This step shelf made it easy to stack the canned goods and allow them to be visible so I could see what I have. These pantry labels I did make myself. Okay, and then for the labels, I am just like lining it up with the one next to it to see. I'm not like doing any specific measurement. I just kind of did one and if I liked it, I am doing the next one. And this is just a reminder of what my pantry looked like before. And here's how my pantry looks now. It is super organized. The DIY wood look shelves really made it look super custom. And the clear containers helped to compact all my pantry essentials. Before it was so unorganized and I couldn't see what I had. And now it's a really nice pantry that was used creating an easy DIY hack. 
And as you can see, I reuse the large ball jars as well as the metal bins. This is a realistic pantry makeover that I think anyone can do, especially if you're looking for small pantry organization ideas. Also, I just wanted to point out for taller items, I did use my kitchen cabinet to store things like oil, condiments, and any other seasonings that I use while I'm cooking. And here's the total cost of this DIY pantry makeover. The labels I made for free using Canva and some waterproof paper that I already had, so that was $0. The black metal bins I reused, so that was $0. The large glass ball jar I also reused, and that was also $0. The 24 pack of clear containers were $31 off Amazon. The adjustable step shelf was $17. The wood look contact paper was $6 each and I needed two rolls so that was $12. The foam core board was $1 each. I needed five so that was $5. And the total cost of this DIY pantry makeover was only $65. The links to all the items I used are in the description box. If this easy pantry makeover inspired you in any way, be sure to drop a comment below. Oh, and don't forget to sign up for my newsletter at DIYbynikkifoster.com so I can communicate with you directly. Also, if you decide to do this pantry makeover on your own, I am building a DIY club on Vibely so we can support one another as we transform our homes, set goals, and so much more. The links to everything are in the description box below. Thank you for 80K and thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.